Hello YouTube, I thought I would do this video as I'm just uploading some uh, digital 8 format from this new old camera um, that I've done a video on um, and I thought I'd show the process because I know a lot of people don't know how to get these old high 8 or digital 8 um, camera footage onto their Mac, especially in the newer one. Uh, my Mac is the 2018 model which has USB-C now so it actually needs two different adapters so let's show you that. I'll get out the back. Come on. Right. Because Apple have converted their connection twice. This is what we need. Ooh, kicking it around. Right. So as you can see, that's the USB-C that's going off. This is better say both Apple. And then this goes to um, Thunderbolt, which used to be, used to have one of these, which was Thunderbolt to uh, Firewire, but then, as I say, it's gone to USB-C now. So USB-C, I don't know if it'll focus on that, to Thunderbolt. And then the Thunderbolt one, again, another Apple official adapter. See what I'm doing. Goes in there. And then, finally, Thunderbolt is going off to Firewire which this is the bigger size Firewire so depending on what your camera needs it's not normally this size the camera is a normally small one but anyway regardless that goes in there so that is now ready to go into the Mac in USB-C and then up the other end of this cable try and show it all is a normal Firewire small cable that will plug in the front of this camera and that's all you need to know. I say that's all you need to know, but um, right, let's plug this USB C back in. Adapters, oh, Apple loves his adapters. Let's see what I'm doing. <laughs> Then, yeah, this one, as I showed you, focus on the bloody thing, is the one that's on, depending on where it is on your camera, on mine it's underneath the flap here, come on, so you might see it in the manual, it's called iLink or Firewire or, you know, there's a few different names for it, but um, it's, it's Firewire, that's the connection there. Always make sure the camera is switched off when you do this. A lot of people turn the camera on first. If you do that, you run the risk of burning out the port and then you might not be able to use your firewire ever again. Which is why there's loads of cameras on eBay saying fully working apart from the firewire cable. And it's because people have done just this. They plugged it straight in when the camera switched on. Now it's safe to switch on. So we're going to put it into player mode because I'm copying footage off. And on the Mac, it's going to be down to your video editor of choice, which mine is Final Cut. Show that, I might as well show this process as well. That's the stuff I did on here earlier. Right, takes off dry date. Sorry, this is all last second because I thought it would be helpful to post this. So, you go to your capture button there and it will show up as a Sony camera. I should load the footage up. There, you see it's, it's already gone to play pause and you can control the camera with the buttons on the screen because it's firewire. So I'm just going to rewind it. And then as soon as you're ready, you'll play it to the point that you want to record, just hit import, or if you want to do the whole thing, rewind it like I am doing now, as you see it's rewinding, and then just press import and it will do the entire tape. Right, hope that was helpful, speak to you later.